Hello beautiful Libras and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal, all information is in the description box below. Please make sure you're exploring all avenues before reaching out to me for a booking. Also, if any of you would like to purchase my decks, they are now available for pre-order um, for a limited time only. So just go over to my Instagram and when you are ready to purchase, DM me. Also, please do remember in the reading the energies can go vice versa they could be interchangeable switch agendas switch the roles do whatever you got to do whatever you don't got to do however it's come at me in the comments not today <laughs> okay so libras i'm doing something a bit different today so i'm going to be doing an energy reading for the week ahead so this can be from now until like next week um what's today today tuesday right from now to next week tuesday um but you know it's I mean, I, I like to say the the readings are timeless, so this is for the week ahead, but you know, so if it's not from now to next week, Tuesday, it could be the following week, it could just be whenever, okay, but this is going to be a weekly reading, a short reading for um each of the individual signs, I thought that I would do this because I've already done all the love and the general readings for the month and I've got a lot of time left for the month, so I hope you enjoy this, okay, so I've already done the overall energy here and I've already clarified it and at the end we're going to pull an additional card, okay, so the overall energy you have, my beautiful Libras, and what's good, I am a Libra Sun, Moon, Mercury, um, Mars, no, I'm a Libra Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, and Pallas, yeah, oh my goodness, I almost forgot, <laughs> I almost forgot, oh my goodness, so ultimate Libra vibes, okay, so we have emotional healing, um, as your overall energy, followed by new beginnings, okay, Clarified with the Eight of Wealth and the Seer, okay? So for some of you, um, there is going to definitely be a new beginning. Um, this could be something to do with work. So maybe some of you could be starting something new, okay? It definitely could be something to do with, um, if any of you are like spiritual practitioners of, of some kind, you could be implementing something new to your work or you could be um, creating a new channel, okay? I definitely feel like it's going to blossom. So if you start it now, you're definitely going to receive results within the week, okay? For others of you, this definitely could be a new partnership or um, you could be reconciling with somebody because we do have emotional healing here. So when I think about that card... If there's emotions attached, it's normally to do with, like, somebody you already have emotion for, okay? Um, definitely could be a Virgo, um, Capricorn, or Taurus, or a Pisces, but does not have to be, or you could have these placements significant in your chart. I'm also hearing Cancer, okay? But there is going to definitely be a new, um, a new beginning I'm hearing in love, okay? Or a new, um, you're going to be able to express how you feel, um, and work something out with somebody with the eight of wealth here, okay? I feel like um, you could definitely have a psychic connection with a particular person, or you could be dealing with somebody who is also another psychic or a reader, okay? I feel like you can feel their emotions, you can feel that they're feeling you, you kind of intuitively know that you're going to have a new beginning with somebody, or you're going to work something out, okay? Definitely could be dealing with the Virgo as well, because Mother Mary is very... um pure energy to me the virgin mary okay so um i feel like somebody can definitely see your good qualities here yeah underneath that we do have the emperor yeah see your good qualities indeed okay oh and the ace of cups yes oh my goodness okay so we got the king of pentacles the page of swords and the ace of emotions and like i said a new beginning in love okay this could be something that you have been wishing for okay with the nine of cups here i feel like somebody um they have really been analysing you or you have been analysing or I feel like you've been watching one another, okay, somebody definitely kind of wants to work things out with you, they want to kind of stabilise the situation, they want to provide, they want to look after you, okay, or vice versa, this could be how you're viewing. For some of you, like I said, this could be something to do with business, you could be um, partnering up with somebody, okay, or you're just, um, you're gaining a lot of wealth in your career, but I definitely feel that there is going to be um, a time to kind of start something new. Okay, whether it th whether this be with a lover or whether this be um like I said something to do with like your finances, okay? But there is something that is yet to be revealed. So I feel like somebody is definitely going to reveal how they feel about you. There could be some deep rooted um emotions that somebody kind of needs to um somebody's been suppressing. Okay, because underneath that we do have um spiritual transformation here. And then yeah, you are a healer. So I feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody could have went through like a metamorphosis. Okay, like the death of the ego I'm hearing, okay? So, you know, if you kind of feel like um you're, you're, you're feeling something or you're foreseeing something or you know that something is going to work out, it is. 
Okay, so I'm hearing a week from now or with, within this week. Okay, something is really going to blossom, okay? So that's really nice. So let's just get some um, additional information for you guys. Okay. So, yeah, oh my goodness, look at this. So we got, um, I am vigilant. I told you, so some of you are watching someone or somebody is watching you or you're doing a lot of research when it comes to something, okay? Um, then we've got, I am powerful that wanted to come out also. So I feel like some of you are definitely very gifted. You're very powerful. I feel like somebody's also seeing how gifted and powerful you are. So somebody may want to work with you because of your powers, okay? And then we've got, I am determined and focused. So, yeah, I feel like... Some of you are determined and focused to work on something or to build something, okay? Or somebody is very determined and focused on you, okay? So somebody is definitely watching your development. Now, we have I am divine that wanted to come out. And then underneath that, yeah, I am blessed and abundant. This is gorgeous. So like I said, I feel like um you're recognizing your divinity or you've gone through a spiritual transformation and you're ascending or somebody else has seen that about you or somebody or something is going to reveal itself to you, okay? um something is really strong also so i feel like you have a strong psychic bond with someone as well okay so yeah like so just look forward to the week ahead things are really going to work out i also feel like whatever it is that you do especially if you are gifted or you're a seer of some kind you are extremely on point so you're going to find that your everything you say is accurate as fuck okay a lot of people are going to be telling you that also i'm also hearing something about more views okay but yeah, I'm just hearing, you know, that, that you are the um, keeper of secret knowledge and um, a lot of people can learn from you, okay? But I'm hearing that you need to work on your gifts or utilize your gifts or strengthen your gifts, okay? Or strengthen a bond or a bond will be strengthened, okay? So that's really, really beautiful, um, guys. Um, so let me pull something else because I'm trying to make these like 10 minutes long each. So, update for the week. So, let's just pull you one more card, guys. Let's pull you one more card for my beautiful Libra. So, this is what come out. It says, I will do more of what makes my soul shine. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so, to be uniquely us, to listen within, and to love ourselves for all of our vulnerabilities and mis missteps is what our soul longs for, okay? Okay. Even moving forward, small steps every day forward, our dreams is what keeps our soul shining. And when you can make your soul shine, you stand deeper in your power. In, at, blah, blah. You stand deeper in your power of inspired action. Okay. Sorry, that's not... You know when something's not written very well? The grammar is not good on here. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, do more of what your, makes your soul shine. Okay. And yeah, especially with the vulnerability, I feel like somebody's going to be vulnerable with you. So with the seer, you know, the high priestess, if somebody's kind of been closed off or they're not opening up, they're going to. Okay, especially with the spring card here, you know, you know, when you think about spring, that's after winter, like when everything is kind of dead and cold. So somebody could have went cold on you or maybe you were feeling quite cold. Okay, something's going to open up. Something is going to blossom. Okay, and it's going to be really, really beautiful and really refreshing. I'm hearing really liberating also. So yes. So thank you for your week ahead update. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, um, follow me on TikTok for updates. Toodles.